In this lesson, we're going to talk about cirrhosis. So cirrhosis is a chronic inflammation and fibrosis of, which fibrosis really just means scarring, of liver tissue. Essentially what happens is as liver tissue gets damaged, it begins to form scar tissue. So over here is our healthy liver. Over here is our cirrhotic liver. Now scar tissue is very tough and rigid, and this can cause obstruction of blood flow within the liver and can keep the liver from doing its normal functions. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. But first I wanna point out the two most severe complications of cirrhosis that are both caused by impaired blood flow from the scar tissue that forms. Normally, blood flows out of the gut and into the liver for detoxification and metabolism via the portal vein. When blood flow begins to get obstructed within the liver, pressure is going to build up. All this blood can't flow and pressure begins to build up in the portal vein and causes portal hypertension. The problem with portal hypertension is that the blood flow backs up into the GI circulation. This causes extra pressure backing up, forcing that blood into the GI circulation. This is how we end up with what's called esophageal varices. Esophageal varices are dilated thin vessels of the esophagus. We have all these thin vessels around the esophagus, okay? Now what happens is as this blood backs up, it dilates these very thin vessels. When they're under pressure, they can rupture, which means they're really just gonna bleed a ton. Now there is a lot of blood flowing through here under very high pressure and all these thin, tiny little vessels. So this can cause the patient to literally begin to spew blood out of their mouth. And it's a life-threatening complication. So let's review what impaired liver function looks like. We know that the liver is responsible for conjugating bilirubin. Now bilirubin is a byproduct of um, hemoglobin breakdown. So if it can't do that, then we'll see bilirubin levels start to rise. What we'll see with that is we'll see a decrease in clotting factors because the liver isn't able to make them, which the liver normally makes clotting factors, and we'll see impaired protein metabolism. Now, normally, the liver will take the byproducts of protein breakdown and process them to be excreted. Since it can't do that, things like ammonia are going to start climbing. Of course, we'll also see the liver function test elevate because the liver isn't processing um, those amino acids. We may also see drug toxicity because the liver isn't able to detoxify those drugs and, and get them out of our system. So any medications that are normally cleared by the liver could end up building up in the system. And then because the liver is responsible for storage and synthesis of glycogen, we may also see impaired blood sugar regulation. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.